So this is just another example. I'm just, you know, just to show you that there are other tools out there. This one's called IdeaScale. Um, and, you know, you can see they're using a pretty similar concept up here to, to explain to you uh, how their tool works. And here you can see an example of one um, uh, down here where you can see what it is. And if you clicked on it, you'd get a detailed view. And you can vote right there. And you can see who the, again, a Web 2.0 concept. Who created that idea? And what other ideas did they have? Because I really like this idea. Maybe they have some other good ones I can use. So again, with these tools, you can check by user what their ideas are. Um, and so that's really interesting. Um, a lot of you know um, that I'm a huge proponent of tagging. And, uh, and these tools are very good at tagging. So you can tag the ideas. And then as, as long as they've been tagged, you can click on the tag. And now, all of a sudden, let's say the tag was uh, revenue generation or something like that. Now I can get all the ideas listed that are related to revenue generation. And that happens to be something I'm interested in. So wow, I never you know, realized we had that many people thinking about that in our organization. Pretty powerful, something that you didn't necessarily have. Um, how am I doing on time? Got well, like one minute or so, a um, couple minutes. So again, another another tool. This one's called Idea Spigot. Um, this one's a little bit a little bit heavier weight than some of the other ones. Um, these environments have management backends where this is something where the end users wouldn't be. You as a as an administrator um, or somebody in your organization as an administrator can go in and do various things that you might want to do, like delete inappropriate things, like bucket them, like take down old ones that are that are now obsolete. Um, various things that you can do uh, to do it, manage uh, flags, um, various things like that. So here's an example of where it's getting used. Right there at the bottom right of your screen. Got a great idea. This is the front page of Starbucks. Starbucks is using this right today to find out all kinds of cool things about the way about the products people would like to have, or the uh, new ways of using green for their cups, and you know all kinds of things that that they could not have come up with on their own that that Starbucks fans will want. If you click on that link on their web page, this is the page that comes up, starting to look familiar, right? Share, vote, discuss, see, same same kind of concept. Um, same thing here. Starbucks is getting a huge amount of value out of this. Um, this. Their example is for their customers. So here's an example. I, I said at the beginning I'd show something about how WSB is using it. Um, Washington Speakers Bureau provides, um, pro, uh, provides a, a product called a WSB Insight where prior to an event or after an event, we will provide you a, a digital experience with our speaker that will include a short video from that speaker talking about the concepts that, that, that they, you know, that made them famous. Um, and then, and then the, the, our customer, who in this case is um, IQPC, uh, Six Sigma Conference, um, can say, this is something we'd like, you know, we'd like to know from our, from our conference people. And they can vote right now and get, and get instant feedback. They click on this environment, it pops up and gets a little bigger. And they have one of those idea sharing environments right there. So you got stimulus, you got instant feedback, and you got more in, in depth uh, interaction. Um, so items to consider. I'm not going to go through this, but you can kind of take a look at it quickly. Um, the, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm not saying that this is a silver bullet panacea to all your problems. There are always going to be process issues to consider. Once you got all those ideas, change management ideas to consider. Um, what are, you, what are you going to do with it once you have it? Um, who's going to manage it? There are various things like that that you're going to need to think about it. But the tool itself can really um, help out a lot. These are the questions. Um, the last question is obviously, what are you going to do? How is it, how's it going to help your business? Is, you know, obviously, is it something that can help your business? But if it is, go out there. These things are out there, and they're not expensive. As far as zero budget KM goes, you can get one of these things for 10 bucks a month. Pretty cheap. Cool. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. I have a live one right here that uh, that people are that I, that I can. I was just going to show quickly that. So here's one that's actually working. This is one that we put up for the for Society for Human Resource Management. And 
you know, here you can see the ideas and, and people voting. Um, so I can vote that idea up. And, uh, and so that went up to four. And I can click on here. And now I'm looking at, at, a, uh, you know, at the details of it. And here's some comments that people put. And nobody rated those comments, but they could have. And I can enter my own comment. And, uh, and so it's all, and, and you can search by the recent ones versus the popular ones and things like that. All, con all contained within this little widget. So it's pretty cool. Great. Rob, thank you very much. Facilitators, if you, I'll put the questions back on. If you will uh, we'll stand at the tables and go ahead and do your thing. I think we're going up to this kind of product unless there's just in a Google format. I love the big buzz And so how could that be reproduced? Because we were getting everything when you did a search and we wanted to get just this thing.